here. Just thought I would uh, there just chat with you, surprise. Uh, I got that uh, yesterday and uh, Age Scotland uh, charity shop in Broxburn only £3 and I had uh, £8.50 on my uh, card so I thought I would uh, go in and have a look and see what was there and uh, it's brilliant, I've watched nearly every single one of them there's that one that one with you and Leo, and I, I, I that thought one. we were in for you too. You two are that one. That's it, I see so you get four, and there's. I don't know how long each one each it one of them are, are on for, but uh, it was made in 2011, I think, uh, or, or this collection. And you get a book with it, it says four DVDs and a magazine collection. And, uh, the 50 greatest footballers. Because I love you. It's obviously on. I would, I would know exactly what the 50 greatest uh, footballers are. I bet you I could say 50 and they'd be in there. Uh, straight away there would be like Messi, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Ma uh, Van Basten, Cruyff, uh, uh, Seagull, uh, Seco, uh, Pele, uh, and all that. So uh, it'll be good that book, though. No, uh, so it won't. Uh, but uh, I today I was at Jump Station uh, where there's trampolines and all that, and it was fantastic. Uh, done that video. So the videos are on uh, my YouTube channel, and uh, just near. Uh, what is it? Just near. Ah! Uh, just near. Uh, uh, deck mount. There's a big, uh, like, uh, like, uh, field, but, uh, it's a village, uh, it used to be a village hospital. It's called, uh, Bangor Village Hospital. And back in the days when it was first made, it was for uh, people that were wounded in the war. And then after the war finished, it became a, a, a mental hospital for patients with like mental uh, mental issues up upper above in the brain. Uh, weird. But back in the days when we were we were real young and we were coming back for. I think like basket or the centre, the bus used to go in and uh, turn in and drop uh, some people off in there. It was uh, opened in I think 1906 and uh, shut their uh, shut their last uh, working working building in 2004. So uh, it's been shut for a very long time. But uh, that whole area they are, look it up on uh, Wikipedia if you want, but uh, all that area up there now is just uh, famous for like uh, going walks or dog walkers. Because lots of people uh, just uh, either uh, drop off uh, their cars uh, outside it uh, and just uh, take their dogs uh, dog walking around that area. It's really nice so but uh, sometimes when it's uh, no uh, wait wait Aye, sometimes when it's uh, uh, really, really quiet, it's a bit eerie and a bit spooky. But I would uh, imagine going there at night, that would be really spooky. So it would be. It really would be. But it's fun though just to have a look around and uh, maste all the like, windows and all, that, all the buildings are uh, like... Uh, or boarded up so you can really see in but some bits have got like windows smashed or, the, or there's one window that's not got any like uh, boarded up so I would imagine that like uh, like owls or birds and stuff like that go inside and uh, like stay in there and nest inside there but oh, beside the church there was thousands and thousands of, well I'm uh, exaggerating a bit there wasn't thousands but I would say maybe about 
20 crows on, on a tree next to the church and then there was like about five or six crows right on top of the cross on the top of the uh, church and there, there was like a, a tiny wee shop there's villas where the patients uh, used to stay and all that there's like uh, medical rooms there's boiler rooms there's workshop rooms for where all the well, equipment was made and all that I would imagine that they, it would have made beds but it's really weird though if like a, a, a nurse was going over to get a patient they would have to like come into one building go along with like a, a bed go and grab the patient bring them out of like the villa uh, in the bed and then go along because like I, I think though like one or two uh, parts there's a uh, uh, bus, bus stop so I think like a wee local uh, bus would go in there like a hospital bus I just saw that like they could maybe pick up a patient uh, for a villa and take him to like a, a operating room or something like that or maybe like a room to assess him or something but uh, uh, it is quite weird when you first go there but uh, I've been there quite a few times and it doesn't freak me out anymore but it's really cool though I'd recommend that uh, Bangalore Village Hospital just near Deckmount in West Logan it's so cool aye uh, I really enjoyed it aye but I want to go there and spend a lot longer there and make more videos, I. But it's really nice countryside and, uh Hui! I would imagine... <laughs> I would imagine, though, that, uh like, the grass area all the way around that whole area just has, like, moles, rats, mice, uh rabbits, hares, and all different types of birds you can think of. I would imagine, right, that all the birds are on top of the buildings or the trees at night looking down and then swoop down and uh, get all the, uh, the rodents. But uh, I would recommend it, as I was saying. Uh, what else? Aye, so jump stations are all good place as well. It's just near uh, Oppol Station. Not that far away from Oppol Station. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum I nearly uh, lost my hearing aid today. Aye, uh, I, I, I came back for jump station. No, well. Bangor, cause I went to jump station first, and then I had a hour to spare. So I thought, right, we'll go to, uh, we'll go to Bangor and just have a look at the village hospital. And uh, it's not a hospital uh, anymore, obviously, uh, because uh, uh, St John's Hospital in Livingston's there now. But uh, we went, no, um, came back, couldn't find my hearing aid. Well, I'm phoned up the uh, jump station. They say it's no there. The uh, other staff looked, and then my mother says, oh, I'll just look outside, and it was just outside in the path. So, uh, brilliant. Uh, what else? Badum, boom, badum, boom, badum, boom, badum, boom, badum, boom, Right, uh, I've just finished watching Emmerdale and now Coronation Street's on and it's Friday so Coronation Street will be back on at half past eight and then hopefully there's some something um, good musically on BBC4 tonight like there normally is. I've got a wee scar on my thumb. Don't know how I got it. Anyway, so yesterday I got the the five hundred five five hundred great goals uh, out of the charity shop. Played snooker. Pardon me. Went into the new tea place place in Broxburn. They can read your tea leaves in there and one day I might go on and get my tea leaves done but I need to book another appointment so I might book it for this Tuesday to come in because I'm going to England on this first to come in and I'm going for two weeks the 28th of February till the 14th of March I'm going to England uh, to see my fam family and father and uh, as I said in the previous video, when I'm down in England, I'm going to film uh, 
la la la. Scammersdale, Ormskirk, Liverpool and Southport and all the walks that we do. I'm going to uh, do at least five minutes on each uh, part of that. So probably by the time I come back from England, I should have at least probably about 100 uh, videos on YouTube and so far I think I've got about either 47, 48 or 49, I can't remember exactly but I did have 41 at one point and then uh, I checked it the day and I had 47 so I should have a wee bit more than 47 maybe but if I've got 47 this is 48 uh, oh. I really would uh, recommend uh, dried cranberries, trust me dried cranberries are stunning they're just good to nibble on them again. They're brilliant. And they are uh, they are for when I play football. Uh, when I play football, I put them on and that means I can see. Because I'd be blind without my glasses. So they are sport goggles. And I use them for jump station today so that when I'm doing a flip on a trampoline, my glasses will only fall off because they've got Velcro. Velcro. It's a ripple. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, what do you call a guy with a, uh, um, what do you call a guy with a seagull on his head, Cliff? <laughs> uh, why did the skeleton not go to the party? Because it had nobody to go with. <laughs> why uh, do the two mushrooms get on with each other? Because they're very fun guys. They're both fun guys. Are you sure you are? But you uh, 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 ones. Uh, where does a cow like to go on holiday? New York. What does a cow like to have for breakfast? New Hoosley. What do you call a sheep with no eyes and no legs? A cloud. Uh, what do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? No idea. What do you call two uh, deers with no eyes and no legs? Still no idea. Boom 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 boom. What? Oh, why? Why did the skeleton no fight me? Because it didn't have any guts. <laughs> why is uh, milk uh, good for skeletons? Because it's good for their bones. <laughs> Why do you say? Why do you still say I'm snookered when you're playing pool, even for you're no playing snooker? What do you call a woman standing in between two goalposts, Annette? What do you call a woman with one leg longer than the other, Eileen? What do you call a woman that burns all her junk mail, Bernadette? Ah, classic. Bye.